Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to look how we can define a column's unique constraint in Hibernate. So I have already created this project column unique constraint. Most of the files I have created, but uh, unique constraint I haven't defined yet. So that I'm going to define uh, in this uh, video tutorial. But before that, let me explain you what is unique constraint. Uh, uh, Basically, unique constraint uh, we can define using at unique constraint annotation used to specify a unique constraint to be included by the automated schema generator for the primary and secondary table associated with current annotated entity. Uh, you can uh, consider the book entity here, Hibernate uh, generate the unique constraint. Uh, 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 while using the DDL when creating the database schema but uh, for that we need to define a unique constraint right uh, along with this table annotation right so here uh, let me show you what example is this so here we have uh, two entities one is author which is having some fields like ID first name last name and this author can have a list of books right and that's what from author to book we have a one to many relationship and this is mapped by the author and this is the variable name which we have declared over here so basically what we want uh, mapping between these two entity uh, we want to manage in the two table itself right and that's what we have added this variable and we have wanted this variable with add many to one so this will basically add a foreign key in book table by the name author underscore id right so now let's go to the client program in client program basically i have created the author object and i have created two book book one and book two and here you can see uh, book title is exactly same right exactly same I have changed the ISVN number, right? In real scenario, this is not possible, right? We are keeping the book name as same, and just uh, we are trying to change the ISVN number and try to persist this. And these two books I have associated with the same author with same title, right? Author is still Gavin King, and title is also same, right? So basically, if we do not define a unique constraint on uh, title as well as author right author id then these two books is going to insert into our database right now let me show you my database schema here is the database schema test that we are going to use let me draw this table so as of now there is no table now if i run this client program then uh, there will be one record in the author table and there will be two records in the book table and that we don't want right so here if you go to the person okay sorry guys so what i'll do i'll in author let me make it as a author so we want table name as author so let me delete this sorry not alt but uh, alter but we want to delete it drop these two tables and if I run this client program, cool, you can see this two, one insertion in author and two insertion happens in uh, book table and uh, these records have been inserted successfully, right? Now you can see two books, right? Over here. But uh, we want to stop uh, inserting a two book name with the same author, right? So there is possibility you can insert the first record and if you want to update something then you need to update in the existing record itself instead of inserting a second uh, record so here what i'll do i'll go to the book table uh, book entity class and here we can define a unique constraint over here so that's the thing we wanted to learn in this video tutorial so here we are going to define a unique constraint so we have an attribute which is called unique constraints equal to at rate unique constraints at 
unique constraint and here you need to specify a bracket and first of all you need to specify the unique constraint name that i'm going to specify uk underscore book underscore title underscore author okay now uh, after putting the comma let's come to the new line after putting the comma you need to specify a, a column names and here in column names in curly bracket you can specify the column name separated with the comma on which you want to apply the unique constraint so first uh, a column name i would like to apply title i like i would like to mention the title and second is the author id author underscore id and that's the foreign key right so title belongs to this table but author underscore id belongs to the other table secondary table you can say so uh, we haven't specified any foreign uh, key column foreign uh, column name foreign key column name so i want it will take this variable and that will append underscore id and that will given as a foreign key name author underscore id otherwise you can specify a, a join column uh, using join column you can specify the foreign key name as well right uh, i would specify the almost same author id itself that's the meaning to one if we do not spe specify this column we still have one is going to uh, create a foreign key column name with something like this author underscore author id so author that is the variable name of this and underscore id is which is the primary key of the author table right so almost we have done right now what i'll do i'll go and i'll delete two these two tables now if i try to run this example then what will happen now uh, in book table what we have done basically uh, we have defined a unique constraint and that's the combination of title and author id right so when uh, uk book title author unique constraint is in place it's no longer possible to add two books with the same title for the same author right and if i run it then this is going to throw an error uh, so i have deleted the table now if i run now you can see uh i is throwing an exception so what happened here you can see the console uh, while looking into a console you can see uh the first insertion happens successfully for the book but uh, in second insertion uh, in second insert statement fails because of the unique constraint violation right so this you cannot insert with the same title for the same author right and that's what this is throwing an error saying that duplicate entry hibernate in action for key this and this is the name of the unique constraint we have applied right so what you can do you cannot save this second book uh, for the same author with the same title right instead you will have to insert a single so i'm going to uh, what i'll do i'll put a comment for your reminder and uh, uh, let me check what's the ddl value hbm to ddl that's create so that's not a problem i will it will drop the existing table and that will now if i run this after commenting this code snippet now it's running successfully right so i hope you understood what's the meaning of uh now if you want to update uh, existing book uh, isbn number or price then f first of all you have to retrieve this entity object uh, this call uh, this rows uh, in your hibernate and you can update the existing one instead of inserting the uh, new record with the same title for same author right and that's what uh, basically uh, uh, unique constraints basically protect us to uh, basically insert uh, some kind of duplicate record right so that's all i wanted to cover in this video tutorial guys i hope you enjoyed learning this video uh, if you really like this video then please hit on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel so guys big thank you for watching this video and uh, this code you'll get on the github and github 
uh, location i will specify in the video description part itself so that's all in this video tutorial see you next video tutorial thanks